That's awesome. I was waiting. Were you waiting? Like, I waiting. You were, bad. were you creeping? <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, well Andrew and I are doing something new today. We are in Lancaster. Not Lancaster, Lancaster. Uh, we are a little bit far from home. We're about an hour from home. And we've decided that we're going to branch out and try some new things. So, we're invading. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're at Booby's Brewery. That's a real thing. That's what it's called. Uh, we're gonna go in and grab a bite to eat, and then we're heading down the road to Strasburg to visit Casper's Buy Sell Trade Consignment at Diamond Estate Sales. So we're gonna go there, and then we're gonna hit some thrift stores. So we're gonna take you guys along and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. Here we go. Booby's Brewery. Mmm, mm, it's been a long time since I've been here. Okay, well scratch that idea. I guess they're closed for the off season. They close at Labor Day and they don't do lunch anymore. So, we're gonna go find some else to eat. We're off to a good start today. But we'll be back for dinner. We'll be back for dinner, oh yeah. Okay, well we made it to Lancaster and we are at the Lancaster Brewing Company place. The parking lot is empty. I was pretty sure it was closed, but then we saw somebody else go in the door. So we're gonna give this an attempt. We're gonna give it an attempt. They haven't happens. come back out yet. I'm so hangry right now. I need to eat. Here we go. Okay. Mm. okay, I regret being almost scared off by the shady parking lot. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, don't let the outside fool you. Don't let the outside fool you. Oh my goodness. I'm actually pleased. I am too. And you're actually really hard to please at restaurants. He's the hardest. <laughs> at least you admit you have a problem. Very picky. Turn off the wipers. I don't understand. Donation center. Goodwill store and donation center. And way down there, there is an outlet center. We are at the Goodwill in Lancaster today. We don't have a whole lot of time because we're going to meet our friends at Casper's Buy, Sell, Consign at Diamond Estate Sales. I'm gonna get that eventually. Um, but we're gonna check this place out. We're gonna see what we can find. Focus. All right, so this store has lots and lots of shelving. Look at it all. Ooh. You shall not pass. It is chained off. No vase for you. <laughs> Don't do it. She'll kick you out. You'll be in trouble. <laughs> what did you just say? The morning coffee will never be the same four square and seven years ago. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, I'm so excited by this thrift store. This is a really awesome Goodwill. Why haven't we been here before? I was all nervous. Oh, we've never been there. I don't know what to expect. Expect awesomeness. What? Coffee is for closers. Be a closer and you get coffee. <laughs> Oh, Christmas. Is this a boiler room now? I don't know what that means. It's a movie. Boiler oh, room. I never saw that movie. It was before my time. Apartment 56. This looks like that pottery, but I can't say for certain. Something ceramics. Uh, Ooh, it wasn't me. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. Not me. This Not this time. Ski lifts and slopes. Oh, I thought that was actually like a piece of ceramic. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. Psst, Andrew. Psst. 
Yes, that. That's a good one. Yeah. What does it say? Marilyn, September 1973. Yeah, it's a, it's a painted piece. But I like those daisies. Oh, you did a really nice job Yeah. That. See, it's about finding the ceramics that they actually were artistic and not two-year-olds. You know what I noticed, too? What? They were kind enough to not put the stinking price sticker on the bottom. Yes. Yes, they were. All right, let's look through here. Oh my gosh, it's just overwhelming. There's so much stuff to look at. I can't, I can't handle it. Well, like, oh, this Bolacante piece. Bolacante is the method of controlled bubbles in a piece of art glass. This is Bolacante, whether or not it's, it has to be Murano, right, Mary? Oh, it's Murano. She's watching the video right Mary, now. Mary will agree. It's, Mary, it's Murano. It's all art glass is Murano. It is. Just admit it. Okay. Um, on that note, what else do we spy on the shelf? I don't know, but I'm bugging ahead. You're bugging ahead. He always just loses it and he goes away and comes back with treasures. Okay. We're going to keep on keeping on like this. Nippon? Germany. What? I actually really like that dish. For $1.99. Not seven. Nine. Two cents more. We'll get it. We have those little. We have little custard bowls that match these. Right, and it's four bucks for the pair. Okay. Like, Put them in the cart. These are really nice. I like. Fine. I like Homer Laughlin. Yes. Do you know they made false graph, right? Homer Laughlin. <laughs> just kidding. No. I'm just kidding. Yes, Somebody that. said that before. It made me laugh. What? I'm just joking. Somebody, so. somebody tried to convince me of that before, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not the truth. I like that. I don't know. What did you find? Uh, I, just, I like this cut glass. Thing. I know you do, but cut glass doesn't sell very well. So please keep that in mind. It's a beaut. It's beautiful. I love cut glass, and I. I, know, I know. This is of course made in China, and I'm touching it. Um, I love cut glass, but unfortunately, there's not a huge resale value in cut glass, so Ooh. it's to be avoided. I like that. I, I saw that when I was walking by, actually, and I thought, oh, that's nice. But look. Modern stickers. Modern stickers, but it is like really pretty. Though. It is nice. That sticker there is like a 1970s mm -hmm. sticker. I have I have I issues with that. They're birds. Not just in general, but with that specifically. <laughs> I don't know. I think the subject matter though. Okay, if you like it. I have a feeling about it. Okay. It's really pretty. I like it's it. missing its lid. It's probably. It doesn't have a lid. You don't think of it? Okay. Nope. All right, fine. Put it in the cart. <laughs> What do you think it's marked in the bottom? Nothing. I feel like that's modern though. I don't know, I'm gonna steer clear. We've got some milk glass cups. This is nice. And it says Dollar Tree on the bottom. Pretend that did not happen. It's a Molf pillow. No, actually, somebody probably put a lot of work in there. I feel a little bad about leaving it here, but it's really not my style or something that I buy and sell, so it's gonna stay there. Ocean City, Maryland crab. Here's a flute. I would never dare bring that home. My kids would make too much noise with it. All right, um, let's see here. Again, there's just so much to take in that it's crazy. What is this? What is in here? Oh my gosh, it's just falling. I can't even. It's got compartments. Andrew, can you help me with this? I'm having serious issues. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one. All right, never mind. Abort. Abort. Gosh, I'm just gonna leave oh, you. Oh, here. This is why. Oh, look, there's another latchy thingy. Yeah, it's for there we else. go. Oh, I don't need one of those. I'm so glad you put all that effort into that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, gosh. I do like these, but I don't know if I'm like that committed to these. What do you think? Gilroy and Bach? Uh, 
I don't think so. I know you had picked up Phil Roy and Bach. I have, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that le looks more modern and probably not a gravy boat without the saucer. I do like it. Okay. What do you think of these? Oh, that's pretty. It's hand painted. <laughs> they didn't cover it up. It was meant to hang. It yeah, it was made Plate to hangers. Hang. I, this one is actually my favorite. I'm just gonna leave them there together. Somebody will come along and appreciate them. Oi. Um, all right, lots of little boxes. It's in a box, it's not hoarding. Let's see. No, I like looking at these little boxes because sometimes I find Gettysburg ones. That's true, yes. Especially this close. The mushrooms. They're not merry mushrooms. No, it's still kind of cool though. They are. This is nice. Ooh, what is this? Mikasa. No. Not that one anyway. Some, yes, not that one. I just did. <laughs> Andrew? What? What do you have there? This was made by Moses. Was it? It was made by Moses in Cyprus. No. And it's number one. Made by Moses in Cyprus. No, I think what they're calling it, they're calling it Moses. And made in Cyprus. That is the name of the piece. It's made by Moses. It was a good effort though. Thank you. <laughs> Even he said it's true. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't. I can't with you. You're so heavily edited that they love you. <laughs> it is cute. So much to take in. I can't handle all that's going on right now. I'm tripping over bubble wrap. You know what I bought from Eric this week? What did you buy from Eric this week? Pyrex. Did you? Yeah. You got some Pyrex to they're show me? oval bowls that have like a divider in the middle, so they're like two... Casserole yeah, dishes? Two, two casserole. Divided casseroles? Yes, that's it. Ooh. Three different patterns. Penguin? He's cute. He was originally $20. That right there is a $20 penguin. Ah, I accidentally just hit him in the face. Andrew just picked out a piece of Hager with the original sticker. Hager floral. It's probably used for a floral arrangement, I would assume. It's just a nice little bulb looking thing. I totally just walked right by this. And I'm not sure how it happened. What does it say? Mmm. Made in Portugal. Ah, the big bowl's gonna say it. We're gonna bring it over here. This doesn't actually have a mark on it, but the entire set, it's a salad set. One, two, three, four, five. We got five bowls and a master bowl for only $7. Uh, we'll take it. There is some chipping on the little bowls, but uh, they're vintage, so it's expected. We'll take it. Fiesta? Mm. Yeah, that's nice, but I just have one question. Mm. How did you miss that? No, down <laughs> the turtle snack thing. Yes! All day. Up. Oh man. <laughs> the first thing I saw when I walked in here. That is epic. I think we need that in our lives. I think we could use that at home because the chips yeah. are on the bottom side on the back. I don't know. I, I think it says something about me when I'm attracted to weird upside down turtle. I, f I feel, I don't know. I feel like I'd be like... <laughs> We could have turtle soup out of it. Stop. Oh, we could have snapper soup out of it. Stop it. Why do we have all this fragile stuff? Go get some clothes. Uh, what do you think about this? It's crazed on the inside. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I know. Like, Student just, pieces like, make me nervous. Oh, I kinda, I like but there is some hair color over here. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. Two dollars. What do you have? For three dollars? I don't know, I'm gonna research it because it's signed. And it's got a post in it? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a cool piece. That's, that's a really cool looking piece. I will grant it. Is that Hager right there? Where? 
No, it is not. You looked? Yes. <laughs> of course you did. Lots of Christmas. Oh, yeah. really similar to the one I just That's got. why I looked, yeah. That's kind of cute. Oh yeah, the rain's intense right now. I'm so glad we're in here. Oh my goodness. Is he home co? Probably. Oh no, he's a light. See, but I don't understand how he could be a light. Or where he lights up at, I guess in his hat. What is, what is happening right now? <laughs> you just felt like, yeah, because the music is totally jamming. I hear ya. Yeah, it's a good, you need two of them though. You need two of them to make it happen. It's the hand painted. What is it, Mark? It's Staffordshire. I mean, it's a quality china. There's no chips or cracks? I don't see anything. And what do they want for it? They want five bucks. I wish there was saucers. And that one has a chip in it. Where? A crack. Oh. Wait, no, that, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I do These like them. Really pretty, I do though. like them. I really wish they had saucers. We'll take them for that. Okay, fine. That's sad. I kind of like these. Fenton Silvercrest. Awesome. Two. Oh, look at all of it. I know. Oh, that's what's this? Thing. This is different. I know. I think that's. I guess. Sorry. I think that's um. A cigarette. Cigarette holder. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Cigarette holder and ashtray. Yes. Oh my gosh, I went totally nuts. I like waited. That's awesome. I was waiting. Were you waiting? I was waiting. You were bad. Were you creeping? <laughs> Creeper. Like standing there, like trying to look at the shelves, but really, I'm like. I need that. I need that stuff. Creeper. Oh, I'm such a creeper. Alright. <laughs> Let's go see what else we can find. That's good stuff though. I this know. is really pretty. I know. I was so thrilled. It's the Mark. Spanish lace. That's what this yeah. is. I'm pretty sure this is the Spanish lace. Silver crusted basket. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. And they got what? Two bucks on that. Yes. Oh, I'm, oh I'm, my God. I'm ecstatic right now. Oh my God. They weren't kidding when they said these thrift stores were good here. I'm so excited. Now they're going to be we're mad. We're coming back. More we're often. coming back. We're invading. <laughs> Wait, wait. Oh no. You've got more Navajo? Yeah. Son, two pieces for three bucks. Is that the same artist as the last one? No. Oh, okay. No. Different. It's very sad, Pyrex. Yeah. Three bucks though, it's reasonable. No, it's sad. But for three bucks, it's reasonable for somebody that could use. Oh, absolutely, it. yes, Pricing yes, 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 yes. That yes. Is reasonable. Oh, absolutely, yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh yeah, props. I'm seeing, I'm seeing props. Good pricing. Oh, the fox and the hound. I'm so excited by this place. Look at this. It's a nice mid-century lamp. It's not me, but it's nice. Let's see what else we missed on our first round through. That's what we're doing. We're basically revisiting what we've already been through. Uh, I missed the Fenton the first time somehow. I don't know how that's possible.
All right, well, this aisle is legit roped off, but I just saw this sitting on the edge. I could not resist my curiosity. And sure enough, on the bottom, it says Hager. Yes, the treasure hunt continues. <laughs> Stick it in here somewhere. I will tell you this, shopping in Lancaster, there are a ton of Mennonite people here at the thrift store, and I'm trying not to film them. It's proving to be a little difficult, but we're doing our best. Okay, let's continue. Did you find an afghan? It has a lot of color to it. It's not like huge, huge. It's all right. It's cool, um, but this one's kind of excited about. Ooh, I see fancy on there. Oh my goodness. Yes. $2.50. Okay, wait, $2.50. All right. All right, let's do it. We'll grab that one. You want to grab this one? Yeah, we'll do that one. Bucks. I feel like it's kind of this, this scrap yarn quilt, but I will take it. We will take it. Um, this one I was looking at because of the color. I thought. Eh, I feel like it's kind of plain though. I know, but with the simple colors. I like the fancy one. I do too, but. I don't know. You know what though? For what, for what this is priced at? $3.95. All right, are you talking me into an afghan? I don't know. Okay, fine. We'll see what we'll see what the ladies think. Oh, we'll see what the ladies think. The ladies. You're you're leaving it up to the ladies. The ladies. gentlemen cannot chime in. Only the ladies. ladies. Leave it to the ladies. Oh. They can tell me I'm not. <laughs> oh goodness. I just think it's kind of funny the sheer fact that I'm even looking at this stuff. I know, it's kinda of cute. That's why I'm still filming. Look at you and your peach colored doilies. Wait, hold them up again. Hold them up again for the thumbnail. Real fancy like. Oh, ah, that's the thumbnail right there. <laughs> oh goodness. That's the one right there. Yes, please. Four dollars. Okay. Put it in the cart. That's the one I want. The stripey one. I love the stitching on that. I haven't got to that one. You hadn't gotten to that one yet. Okay. Alright, alright. I like that one. Put it back. Put it, put it back. No more thunder mugs. Three dollars? It's a thun no! Nobody is going to buy it. We have not sold a single one. We haven't listed any yet. It doesn't matter. My, my point is none have sold. Souvenir <laughs> put it back. Somebody will buy that and give it to their friend as a coffee cup. Naughty coffee mugs. Naughty coffee mugs. That might work. It could work. What is this? There's a shoe on top of that. I'm so confused, but I like that I'm confused. Are you confused by this? I feel like it's a good confusion, though. Mm, I don't. This is like student art pottery. Student art pottery? Yeah, and it's like crazed and cracked. And it's not glazed on the inside, so you can't use it. Right. Oh. It was probably meant to be a teapot. But it's not glazed, so you can't got, use it. Right, because it's got three holes in the front. And this is the spout. Ah, I see. I like it. Yeah. I just wish, like, I can't use it because yeah. it's not glazed. It wouldn't work. Sorry, buddy. I liked you. <laughs> Wasn't me. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff that breaks here on a regular basis. I hear it happening. Do you see the chicken nestled in the glass bake? My That's glass bake, sweetheart. I love you, but it's glass bake. I like the chicken. I'm not really. Just to prove. Haha, <laughs> I win. Okay. Tee -hee. I know, I just had to do it. I won't put it in the video, but it was funny. No, you know. Well, how do you. How can you tell the difference? Because. Because I know the patterns. 
but it looks so much like Pyrex. Like this is the style. I know the patterns. Yeah, see, like, that's how I knew. This is the st the style dish that I got from Eric. Well, so Pyrex makes that style dish too, okay. so it's possible it's still Pyrex. But I, I know the pattern. But what is, what is glass bake? Is that like a cheap knot? It's it's a uh, I think it's made by Anchor Hawking. Mm, I could be wrong. It's made so by a different company. So it's, it's not made by Pyrex. So it's basically the competitor. Yes, exactly. And it's not worth as much. Gotcha. Yes. Okay, I think that'll be helpful. I do like our chicken though. I didn't see, uh, there's a little chipping here. It's not terrible. Let's keep moving because we're blocking the path. What? What? This is what happens. They're like currently stocking shelves and we're trying to move at the same time and it's not really working because I keep seeing stuff that they're putting out. I like the chicken. I really like that. I mean, it's clear glass, but it's satin glass. It looks like, it, lo it almost looks like crystal. It's really nice. I like that chicken. I'm so glad we didn't just bail. Let's go check out purses. I don't see one with Encore purses. No, but I see, I see one I like. Right there, I'm gonna grab it. Nice. I love wicker purses. Yeah. I'm having serious issues today with people. Made in Hong Kong, which isn't the end of the world. It's no. a nice wicker purse. Definitely vintage. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I like it. Kind of I just I hate reaching in front of I hate reaching in front of people and so I'm ha I'm having like oh I'll do it I know I knew you will but I have to I feel like I gotta stand back and wait that's why when at the bins you exceed and I'm like I'm just gonna take a step back yeah and then it's like the flea market at six o'clock in the morning when I start throwing <laughs> out my <laughs> yeah that's not me classic design I don't really see any others. I see some Vera's, but Vera prices are so low right now that I personally like Vera's. I buy them for myself, but I don't typically look at them for a resale. All right, Andrew, I think we're ready. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's Starbucks time. What did you find while you were exploring the toy section? King Kong. King Kong. 86. Um, Universal Studios. I was looking online, and these are. Uh, they're asking about 30 bucks a piece for these. So for three bucks, we'll take a shot. I can't wait to see what our total spend is. Right. We cleaned up. It's a pretty good, uh, good trip, I'd mm -hmm. say. Here we go. Let's go check out. See if they grump at us. I really hope they don't grump at us. I hate when they do that. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure on them now, and they don't even know it. $91 for everything. Okay, I feel like we totally killed it in there. We cleaned up. Instead, we spent a total of $91. I will say, is it reseller friendly? Mm, when it came to checking out, the, the guy who checked us out was really, really friendly, but the girl that was working with him just gave us the nastiest looks the entire time. It was horrible. I felt like I was doing something really wrong and it, it was not a comfortable experience at all. I was like trying to be friendly and upbeat, my usual self, but she was just not, ha she's making really nasty, like just demonizing faces and I'm like, okay, so this is great. I'm spending $91 here. And I'm getting like nasty looks the entire time. So if you come here to resell, make sure you just don't get a lot of stuff, I guess is basically what I'm saying. But <laughs> uh, the Goodwill Lancaster is, uh, is good stuff. So we'll be back. We'll have to make a day trip of it. It's about an hour away from us, but I think we had a good, a good trip. So Andrew is loading the back. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go over to Casper's Buy, Sell, and Consign. And yeah, we're gonna see what we can get there, but that'll be a video to, for tomorrow, so we will see you then later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>